Hello and welcome to the UNL Chemistry video series. In this video, we are going to go over the proper techniques for using a pipette. Pipettes come in a wide variety of sizes. Here we have everything from a 1 mil transfer pipette up to a 50 mil transfer pipette. We also have a 10 milliliter graduated pipette with marks for every tenth of a mil, similar to a graduated cylinder or a burette. This pipette is designed to allow you to deliver a variety of volumes by using the difference between initial and final volumes measured. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate with a 5 mil transfer pipette that will precisely measure one specific volume. Notice that the transfer pipettes only have one graduation mark that is specific for one fixed volume. Remember to wear gloves and safety glasses when working in the laboratory. Start by placing the pipette bulb string around your wrist and the bulb on the end of the pipette. Typically, I squeeze the bulb before placing it onto the end of the pipette. Place the end of the pipette into your transfer liquid. As you slowly release the pressure on the bulb, the liquid will be drawn up into the pipette. Fill the pipette past the graduation line, but be careful not to get any liquid up into the bulb. Now this is the tricky part. Quickly remove the bulb and place your thumb over the opening at the top of the pipette. This will stop the liquid from draining out of the bottom of the pipette. Slightly remove your finger to allow the liquid to drain until the bottom of the liquid's meniscus reaches the graduated line. This will take some practice. Once you have the correct volume, remove the pipette from one container and transfer the material to another. Allow the content to drain out of the pipette. There will be a small amount of transfer liquid left in the pipette. Do not blow this out. The pipette is designed to be the most accurate when the liquid is allowed to remain. However, if there is any liquid on the outer tip of the pipette, make sure to touch the tip of it to the edge of the new container to finish off the transfer. Thank you for watching this video. Pipettes are the most difficult instrument you will encounter in the undergraduate labs. They can be frustrating, so make sure you practice. These techniques, when done properly, will help you obtain the best results in lab. Below are links to three more instrument technique videos that will help you as well. Click the links in the description below to learn more about balances, graduated cylinders, and burettes. Good luck.